10 things you didn't know about science. Facts number one, why does it cost more to heat up a bigger pot of water? Heat has a relationship with matter, a pot of water will absorb more heat than a smaller one because it has more molecules, matter, to spread out into. So you'll need to use more energy to heat it up, it's not just water either. Heating up any substance takes more energy as you increase its volume, if you don't believe us, try eating an entire pint of ice cream in one sitting versus a small scoop, same coldness, but different amount of calories, this is also why taller buildings cost more too. Heat and cool than shorter ones, there is larger surface area for them to cover and contain, the only exception to these rules are black holes, which have been found to take in energy faster than they can release it, go figure. Facts number 2, how do we know what stars are made of? Scientists use spectroscopy to study light emitted by stars, a spectrometer is a device that breaks light into its component colors, similar to how you can break sound waves into different frequencies using a prism, by looking at which wavelengths of light are present in a star's spectrum, we can figure out what chemicals are present in its atmosphere, for example, oxygen emits very specific wavelengths of light when it shines, if a star has an oxygen-rich atmosphere, we will see bright lines. Due to oxygen near those same wavelengths, because each element and molecule gives off unique fingerprints of light, scientists can determine what's present in any given object just by analyzing its spectrum, this technique is also used on Earth to analyze materials in laboratories. Facts number 3, what happens when you touch an object at absolute zero? Well, it's a cold day today, and everything is frozen, let's find out what happens when we touch an object at absolute zero, absolute zero is pretty darn cold, minus 273 degrees Celsius or minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit, actually getting something to that temperature isn't too difficult, take out any gas that could still be present, so your sample won't explode, cool it down in a vacuum chamber and then suspend it with superconducting magnets, if you do all of these things, you can get your substance down to around 1 10,000th of a degree above absolute zero, that's not quite absolute zero, but it's close enough for our purposes, when you touch something at room temperature, there are some atoms vibrating so fast they have enough energy to escape from their bonds with other atoms, that energy comes from heat, the hotter an object is, the more its atoms move around and have extra energy they can use to escape their bonds. Facts number 4, what's the fastest speed possible in space? Physicists have long known that nothing can move faster than light in a vacuum, this is because there's a fundamental physical law called Einstein's special theory of relativity, which says that nothing, not even particles or information, can move faster than light, in fact, it was already known before Einstein's time, 1879 to 1955, that light itself moves at 299,792 kilometers per second, 186,282 miles per second, which means it takes only 8 minutes and 14 seconds to travel from Earth to the Moon. Other objects and particles cannot travel as fast, so what's really happening when something reaches speeds close to that of light, the answer lies in another fundamental law of physics, Newton's laws of motion, according to these laws, if you push an object, it will accelerate, if you pull on an object, it will decelerate, and if you release an object, it will either stay still or continue moving with constant speed unless acted upon by another force, the more force you apply to an object. While accelerating it, or decelerating it, the faster its speed becomes relative to other objects around it. Facts number 5, what is plasma? Plasma is a mixture of positively and negatively charged particles, the majority of an atom's mass comes from protons and neutrons in its nucleus, which have a positive charge, electrons carry a negative charge, but they remain bound to atoms, which make up 99,9% of our visible universe. Even when they are in high-energy plasma states such as those used by Fermilab physicists studying particle interactions at temperatures approaching absolute zero, so why can't scientists just study plasmas all day? Because plasmas tend to be hot, really hot. According to NASA, the temperature inside Earth's sun is 15 million degrees Celsius, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, yet don't go sticking your hand in there, in order to perform research on plasmas, scientists need to cool them down first. This means making use of cryogenics, lowering temperatures below freezing with liquid nitrogen or helium gas. The only place where you'll find a warmer plasma than Earth's sun is inside. 
Fermilab's Tevatron Particle Accelerator, where superconducting magnets keep electrons and positrons traveling in circles within a mile-long tube that was once part of an underground racetrack for subatomic particles called muons. Facts number 6. Do all newborn babies see color? From their very first moments, babies can see color. Studies show that in their first two days of life, Newborns can discriminate between different colors and prefer one over another, the reason they prefer blue is that white light is composed of all colors of light mixed together. When looking through an adult's eye, a newborn baby sees a white object as being red and green and blue mixed together, which we call white. So when a newborn baby looks at an object or person with any skin color, hit, she will experience it as slightly red or green or blue, this explains why most people describe newborn babies as having a bluish tinge to them, it also explains why some studies have shown that if you take a newborn baby into a room where there are no other objects, just blank walls, then after about 10 minutes, she will start to cry because his, her eyes are not used to seeing nothing but blank walls. Facts number 7, which planet rotates the fastest? It's Mercury, rotating once every 58, 6 days, in fact, Mercury rotates so quickly that a day on Mercury is actually longer than a year, which is 88 Earth days, this crazy spin rate explains why temperatures on Mercury are higher than most other planets, Mercury just can't hang on to its heat for very long at all. It's also one of only three rocky planets in our solar system that has a molten core. Along with Earth and Venus, Source, Astronomy Now, which planet spins backwards, while we're Talking about planetary rotation, let's talk about which planet spins backwards, hint, it's not Uranus, our own planet rotates counterclockwise as seen from above the North Pole, but Venus turns clockwise when viewed from above its North Pole. Facts number 8, why does ice float? Ice floats in water because it has a density less than that of water, as ice gets colder, it becomes less dense due to thermal expansion, in other words, water molecules shift position to make more space as they get colder, this pushes ice out of its regular place at 9 degrees Celsius, or 16 degrees Fahrenheit, and allows it to float on top of liquid water below at 0 degrees Celsius, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the amount of time it takes for ice to float depends on how much pressure is applied. Ice will sink if you put a lid over your container. Two inches under the surface of fresh flowing water, for example, should be fine. Facts number 9, is it cold enough to freeze your spit on Mars? A common myth you've likely heard is that, on Mars, it's so cold that your spit would freeze instantly in midair, unfortunately for our intrepid explorers, if they existed, it would take a much lower temperature than that to freeze human saliva, in fact, with atmospheric pressure less than 1% of Earth's and an average temperature hovering around minus 68 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 55 C. Saliva could survive falling onto Mars for quite some time, the thin Martian atmosphere just isn't cold enough to produce instant freezing temperatures, however, if a droplet of water lands on your tongue while you're on Mars and contains bacteria or other biological material, there's a good chance you'll get sick. Facts number 10, why do some people think twice before making a choice? Have you ever wondered why some people seem hesitant or even paralyzed before making a choice, while others seem to jump right in, if so, you're not alone, psychologists have studied what they call cognitive inertia, or how hard it is for us to get our brains moving after we've stopped focusing on a decision, and according to new research published in Social Cognitive and Effective Neuroscience. There's good news if you find it hard to get started on something, it doesn't mean you're less confident or intelligent than your peers, instead, it might be a sign that your brain is working more efficiently and conserving energy. Well that's all for today's video, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel.